Hello and welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2020 and part three of the road to world number one with England. Thank you for all of the incredible support so far. Keep smashing that like button down below if you want to see more. Uh, obviously we've had two parts today. If we can keep smashing 50 likes that would be absolutely amazing i really do appreciate the support as always there's three links down below in the description for you guys to help out with the two phase project uh, i really really do appreciate it so let's get into it then Today we have the final test match of the series against the West Indies. Of course, um, we've already won the series. We're 2-0 up in it. So it's a good chance to, to maybe try out some new players uh, and, and, and have a little look at the squad that we've got uh, in hand and potentially players that uh, could do some some good damage it looks like now we've got this uh, sorting thing fixed I, I did notice there was a, a fix on um critic captain the, the this morning when I when I opened it up um so Jason Roy actually doing okay James Vince may maybe worth a, a, a go um just trying to have a little look at, at who's been really good Ian Bell of course could come back into the fold he's 38 now um maybe we're looking towards the future I do love Ian Bell um I kind of do want to try him out today just to see how he does just to see how he does, because this match doesn't really matter too much. So we'll take James Vince out of it. Um, Tom Curran's looking in, in pretty decent form. Um, Miles, Craig Miles, somebody that we've used in the past, actually. Uh, Bailey, Graham Onions, of course. How old is Graham Onions these days? 37, crikey. Um, Tom Helm, very, very good player. Uh, that we've brought into the action before. Um, mm, I'm looking at this, trying to work out what I want to do. It's a good chance to try out new players, isn't it? Right. Um, what am I, who am I going to drop? I don't want to drop any of the the main guys. Uh, Archer. We're going to drop Archer. Now, that that's not to say I don't want Archer in the squad. I just want to give Tom Helm a go. See what he's like. Um, so, here we go, then. I'll give some batting practice to the openers. Uh, Ian Bell can have some practice as well. Um, Sam Curran, bit of bowling practice. Brody, Anderson... Mark Wood, Tom Helm. Okay, uh, Helm needs some physio. Ollie Pope needs some physio. And that's all good. Right, so let's move on to the match then. So here we go. What we what we going to do with this? Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking take Burns out, put Denley into open. We're going to have Ian Bell at three. Ollie Pope at five. Bairstow at six. Uh, Curran at 7, Helm, Wood. We're going to take Wood out because I know what Wood's all about. Um, so whether we give Anderson a rest. He's in excellent form. Hang on. Uh, need to move him to there. Surely. Not, we're not batting very deep, are we? But I think Helm's worth a worth a ball. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for that team. And uh, you you know we it's tough because we know that we're kind of accepting that we might be beaten today. But I'm I, you know I'm expecting to see some good stuff from from Ian Bell. Um, at the very least. So here we go. Let's get into it. Joe Denley. Opening the baton. For England. Um, you know. Can open the baton. The baton and that's exactly why we've. We've gone for him. Uh, today. We know Rory Burns is going to be our. Number one. Generally. But Sibley's out. Great catch. 
from uh, Campbell and uh, uh, Dom Sibley out for 15, which is a bit of a shame. 34 for one. But we've now got Ian Bell in. And I'm really hoping he does well today. I'm really hoping to see that. Terrific it's going gonna, it's gonna to give us a bit of a headache with uh, selection, but... This is a great start from Ian Bell. This is a great start from him. He's been beaten by that. If he gets a 50 today, that's going to be a very interesting that's selection dilemma going forward. He's playing really, really well. The return of Ian Bell. Oh, that was close. Oof. He's already on 30. Claim he's trying to get the bat out of the way. Ouch. Oh no, do not be retired here. He looks a bit shaky, but he's okay. Oh, he's okay. Thank goodness for that. Oh dear, that was terrible. That's four buys. Crikey. Ah, that's out. Ian Bell gone for 34. Seemed to struggle towards the end of his innings there as soon as he was hit. So, a bit of a shame. But Captain Root comes to the crease now. Um... Fine drive, right off the middle. Pure yeah, lovely shot. Be nice for us to actually get some good runs in the, in this match. We've you know elected for a, a batsman's paradise, and that's exactly what we've got. Oh, Root's gone though. He's out for 19. So Ollie Pope comes to the crease now. So everybody getting a start, but getting out, which is a bit of a shame. But Joe Denley's still there. Fine shot. And hopefully Ollie Pope can he's really got hold of that. Show us what he's made of. He's out. Ah, he's out again, fairly early in the innings, so not the best from from Ollie Pope. Really this series, and that's going to harm his selection Fine chances shot. going forward. Was left scratching his head. Joe Denley, Sean Knight, and very effectively open the baton. Oh, based on gone, he's the man in form. And that's oh, and Curran gone as well. He's out for a duck. So now this is the problem because we we don't bat very deep, and Denley's gone for forty-five. So we're going to be bowled out with a such a low total here. But Broad seems to have found his form a little bit again. Look at this! Three fours in a row for Stuart Broad. Excellent stuff. Miles away from the. So chased abroad. Wafting away. Oof. There we go. And another excellent uh, shot from Stuart Broad. And there's Leach now, getting involved in the action. Hey, look at this! These two doing really well. T interval day one, 200 for seven. So this little partnership frustrating the West oh, Indies. Man. But Stuart Broad bowled for 25 there. Obviously we've Absolutely. got Tom Helm to come as well. An unknown quantity oh. with the bat in Test cricket. So we'll see how he does. Beautiful ball. That's a thick edge. But Leach seems to be doing all right. I nearly found the edge. Well hit. That's four. Good shot. He's ah! Oh, it's dropped. Well, that could have been virtually the end, and he punishes the next delivery with a four, and another four. This will be frustrating the Windies massively. Big appeal. That's going to go down the leg side. Past the leg stump, I think. And leg buys for four. He's played all round now. That could be out. And it is Plum LBW. Leach gone for 34, but an excellent innings, you would have to say. So Tom Helm comes in now. How's he going to do with the bat? That's a massive shout for LBW. No, the batsman was... The big shout. Well, Anderson gone. He's out for seven. So there you have it then. 241 all out. Not the best. 
I must admit, but uh, hopefully we can That's a brilliant we can match. get the West Indies out well. Brathwaite's gone straight away. Anderson with the first wicket. I hadn't even moved it down to low chances, so um, you know, excellent to see that opening wicket just before the end of play. Broad coming into Campbell now, and that could be out as well. So, the bats oh. That was so close. Oh, an inch away from being given LBW there. So Anderson and Broad start the day again. That's going to go down leg side, unfortunately. He's miscued that one. Inside edge for four. Okay. Sam Curran. Good ball. Good start. And Tom Helm. We'll see how he's going to perform today. On his test debut, of course. Going into Brooks. Ooh, how did that... Not quite. Helm now into Brooks. Oof. Well, this is a good start for the Windies. This could be out. No, that's four. Anderson into Campbell. Oh, another inside edge. So they're getting away with it here, the Windies. Lunch interval day two, 151 for one. Looks like the West Indies are going to build a lead here. But that's a terrific delivery from Anderson. And he makes a breakthrough. Brooks gone for 67. And now the West Indies, two down. Brought into Dorich. Not quite. Just got to hope that these two can pull out their best form here. He's beaten by that. Broad now to Dorich. They're coming back for two. This could be out. It is out. Well, what a throwaway wicket. Dorich gone for 12. That was uh, that was very, very risky. The big shout goes up. What's the umpire going to say? No. Tom Helm as well. We'll see how he does. Hey, gets his first test wicket. Blackwood gone. Tom Helm gets the wicket, which is absolutely excellent. Helm now to Hope. That could be out. Oh, it's a no ball. It's a no ball. That's out as well. Curran gets his first wicket. Campbell gone for 128. Big wicket to get that one. Curran into Hope now. This could be Full toss. What a risky mm, run. I think the they made it. Not out. Very, very lucky. T interval day two then. And the West Indies in the lead. For one of the first times in the series. Not quite, but Anderson. Starting to perform well and hope goes the next ball. He's out for 15. So Anderson showing his true worth. In this match, new ball is available. We'll throw it to Jimmy Anderson. He's edged it. Mm, not quite. Helm now to chase. Out. And he's gone as well. Second wicket for Tom Helm, which is awesome. Uh, let's get Sam Curran back into the action. Joseph's gone as well. He's out for 10. So it looks like we're going to limit this West Indies lead, which is exactly what we needed to do. Curran to Phillip. Excellent delivery. Curran gets his third wicket. Phillip gone for a duck. And uh, this should be the end now. Helm into Gabriel. That's four runs. Curran to Roach. Poor shot. Come on, Helm. Get your third wicket, son. Quite. And this little partnership is going to frustrate us a little bit. Anderson to Gabriel. First ball of the day and he gets him out. So Gabriel gone for 13. West Indies 342 all out, which is absolutely uh, what we wanted. Um, and, you know, limited their lead to just over 100 runs. So hopefully we can... Go and um, that's very, very close indeed. No, not out. Build a build a solid 
foundation. I think that 3-4-2 was the highest uh, score of the series. Denley gone for 17, though. Ian Bell comes to the crease. Well, that's a lovely six. shot. That's six and a no-ball. Goodness me. So, Bell getting very attacking in his old age. Another four. And another one. Lovely shot. So Bell into the 20s. And what a strike rate. And that's going to be six. Crikey. Ian Bell just having fun out there. I'd love to see him get his 50. That's a superbly timed shot. Good shot from Sibley though. So lunch interval day three. When nine runs behind here. Important because these two are, are building a nice solid partnership. That one. Is that out? Not quite. Good shot. And he recovers beautifully. And again, this is this is cracking for me and Bell. That hits the pads, and is it out? No, not out. Outside the line. <clears throat> there we go. That's going to be 50 for Dom Sibley. Excellent to get his uh, half century there. Poor shot. Outside the, the line. Believe it. Big appeal. That could be out though. And it is. Ian Bell can't quite get his 50. He's out for 43. And once again seems to start off brilliantly. But then struggle once he's uh, getting the wards. The, the half century mark. Well. Starting to play really fluently. Oh, what a well, shot from Joe Root. Yeah. Elegant. This is excellent. Captain Root playing a captain's knock so far. Oh, a glorious stroke. Excellent shot from Joe Root. This is very impressive. This is the Joe Root I've been wanting to see all series. A man that was averaging 100 before the start of the test series. The Can he keep going? That's a powerful shot. A lovely shot. Oh, That's four. Looks like he's going to get his 50. T interval day three then. 186 for two. A lead of 85. So basically 85 for two in this match. Need to keep going here. Stop. Good stop the there. Really supports the bowler. Batsman cross and that's a single. So that's a 50 for Joe Root, which is excellent. So the captain will be very, very happy with that. Lovely square cut there. Bowler appeals. The bowler grimaces. Not quite. That was so close. Looks like it was maybe slipping down the leg side, and it was just about. So there goes Joe Root, nice straight drive there. An excellent offer. And Sibley goes again. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Can Sibley get to his sentry? That's a terrific shot. Root into the 70s now. And Dom Sibley on 99. And there is his sentry, and he brings it up in beautiful fashion. Doesn't quite get to the boundary, but with that, two runs, Dom Sibley gets the second century of the series uh, for us. And that is absolutely terrific to see. Joe Root looks like he's going to follow suit very soon as well. Playing really well, these two. That's a thick edge. Oh, it's caught. Oh, is it? Maybe not. I don't think it carried. That's a confident appeal. No, he's still there. Just. I think it's time to up the ante a little bit. New balls come, so chance to smack a nice hard ball about. Yeah, this is looking looking really really positive. End of day three, two seventy nine for two, a lead of one hundred and seventy eight, building nicely here. Joe Root heading towards his sentry as well. I think we'll just reduce those until they're settled again. 
That's a good shot. And I think that's going to be Joe Root's sentry. So, three figures for Joe Root, the captain, playing a captain's innings. And, uh, you know, supported by Sibley. That's going to be four leg buys. Hopefully we can head towards 400, but Joe Root gone. He's out for 107. Ollie Pope comes to the crease now, and he needs a score. He's uh, disappointed in the three innings that he's played so far in this series. Mm, that's out, though. Ooh. Wow, what a decision. So Sibley's still there. He's middled that. And Pope now starting to play a little bit more fluently. Which is good to see. Hopefully he can go towards his half century. Timing was the key there. Yeah, great shot from Sibley. And he's he heading towards misread the line of that one. 150 now. Dreadful. Oh, that's four buys. Goodness me. There's been a lot of those in this match Back. from the West Indies. Wrong length from the bowler. So Ollie Pope into the right. 30s. Now needs to convert this. Really does need to convert this and prove to us Whoops. how good he is. That's a misfield for four. So lunch interval on day four then. We reach 365 for three. That's a lead of 264 so I think we now actually need to be a bit more aggressive and, and try and build a massive lead here more, more, and no one that we can defend really easily. Oh, trouble here. Yeah, good running. And that's the half century. So 50 well, for Ollie Pope. Straight away. Well played. And that's four as well. Awesome. I think the captain oh, has word of the it's another four buys. Goodness me. I'm I'm only assuming that they've right. they've not got a specialist wicketkeeper playing today. Four runs all the way. Or playing with the gloves at least. Superbly timed. Well, there's 150 for Dom Sibley. 150. Well played. This is absolutely awesome stuff. That's six for Ollie Pope, uh, Sibley as well. Sorry, it wasn't Ollie Pope. I assumed it was, but the Sibley is now starting to just whack it. He is so confident right now. Look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful shot. I'm just smacking this around the park. Try and get Sibley to his 200. And Ollie Pope to his 100. Shot. That's four. So closing in on 450 now. Which, uh, you know, we're pushing this lead to hopefully unreachable uh, targets for the Windies. Yes, four runs. He makes it look easy. Moves into the 180s now, Sibley. That's four for Ollie Pope. Four all the way. He's into the nervy nineties now. Oh, he was nowhere near that. This could be out. Oh, inside edge for four. Excellent. T interval on day four. Then I think we bat for an hour. We try and get as much out of it as we can. There's Ollie Pope sentry. So well played, Ollie Pope. He needed an innings, and boy, did he give us one. Good shot there. There's another four for him. And that's going to be the well sentry. Uh, the, just a single. Up. And the 500 up for England, of course. Sibley now. And there's his 200. Yeah. What an excellent innings from Dominic Sibley. Absolutely fantastic uh, to see. And now I think we go for 40 minutes here just trying to smack the ball about as soon as we lose a wicket we'll declare found the edge yeah, 
lovely shot from Ollie Pope. Ah, oh, that's going to be out. Pope's gone. He's out for 115. Go on, then. We'll give Johnny Bairstow a go at the at the reins. Just for an extra few overs. Oh, a blinding shot. And that hit... Ah, uh, Sibley's gone as well. He's out for 208. So I think that is where we're going to declare. Uh, just check. We're 426 ahead. So we will declare on 527 for 5. By far our best batting performance of the series so far. Sibley 208. Root 107. Ollie Pope 115. And a nice little cameo from Ian Bell there. 43 for him. So, well, we've, uh, we've got basically... Three and a half sessions now to win this match, get ten wickets, and win the series three 0 He's edged it. That's high in the air, but that's going to be four. So obviously, West Indies batted pretty well in the first innings. Is this going to be a run out? No, it's not. They made it. Um, bring Hellman Curran in. Oh, this could be out. The umpire's unmoved, but it must have been close. Must have just been missing. Leg stump. Wow. Again, very close. Well, there you go. End of day four. 64 without loss. That's a, the perfect start for the West Indies. They'll be happy with that. This could be a run out. Oh, this should be a run out. And Is a run out. Brathway gone for 28. And once again, a run out making the breakthrough in this series. I feel like the West Indies have had a lot of those occasions. Uh, not Dom Sibley. We'll have Joe Denley. A bit of part-time leg spin just to break it up a little bit. That's and Leach gets the wicket. Brooks gone for 19. That's what we needed. Out. Oh, and another one. Dorich gone for three. So Leach starting to perform now. You can see those rough patches. Well bowled. For, for Leach. Hopefully going to have a field day there. Anderson back in and... Oh, what a drop. What a drop. Looked like Anderson's change of pace worked perfectly there. That's a beautiful... Leach seems to be the man leading the charge here. This will be tight. Oh, this could be a run out. And it is a run out. It's another one. Blackwood gone this time. Anderson to Hope. Oh, and Hope's gone for a duck. So, this is now a great little partnership. Oh, what a stop. Leach to Campbell. Campbell's the man we need to get. And Campbell's the man we've got. He's gone for 98. And it's now 193 for 6. Anderson into chase. That looked very nervous to me. Not quite. I think we need to keep... Leach That's a beautiful going here. He's been doing really, really well. Bring Helm in from the other side. Perfect length. Right, we need to now think about actually getting these wickets. We've got four more wickets to get. That's one for Stuart Broad. Yep, yeah, Roach is gone. He's out for 10. 220 for 7. Three wickets to win now. Curran into Joseph. Big edge. A big appeal. Oof. New ball available. Yes, we will take it. T interval day five then. Start with these two again. Curran to Chase. Edged and gone. Ch chase out for 29. That's a huge wicket to get. That was edged but safe. Two more wickets to get. That's just outside the line, I think. Unfortunately, Curran now to Joseph. This is tense. A tense end into the series. Jack Leach now to Philip. It's a big shout. It's just oh, I thought it was outside the line, but Philip is gone. He's gone. Yeah, it did strike outside the line, so it was a wrong decision from the umpire. But we'll take it. Philip gone for 10 now. And uh, the West Indies 259 for 9. Unbelievable. 
Leeching out to Gabriel. Well, the bowl was appealing. Not out. It didn't really look convincing. Outside the line again there, but... We've almost got them. That's beaten them. He's fishing for it. Anderson into Joseph. All around that. Not quite. We've got 50 minutes left to get one of these out. It struck him in line. Who's going to be the man to do it? Leach seems to be bowling terrifically today. Oh, just misses the stumps. Anderson does it. Jimmy Anderson gets the wicket. Shannon Gabriel, he's gone for five. And we have won by 145 runs, which is exactly what we needed. A terrific performance from particularly Dominic Sibley, who gets his highest test match score. His second century of his uh, career. Absolutely terrific. Ollie Pope as well gets his uh, uh, second century of his, his test career as well. So very, very good for them. And Joe Root obviously getting his... Uh, I assume 20 odd, no, 18th test century. So very good from Joe Root uh, in, in this match as well. Uh, after being bowled out for 241, uh, unfortunately, that just popped up again there. Somebody subscribing, so apologies about that. Um, 241 all out, uh, then West Indies 342. We then responded with 5.27 for 5 before bowling the Windies out. 281 all out. Uh, Jack Leach, 4 for 71. Anderson, 6 wickets in the match as well. Very, very good series indeed for us. And we win that three uh, matches to nil. Uh, we're still third in the Test Championship. So we've now played 14. So it is a match-by-match -match basis. Uh, that you can get all these points for. So we've got nine victories, uh, 326 points. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I suppose you must lose points for um, losing uh, matches. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, India uh, are just ahead of us, but Australia leading the way at the moment. You can see the history there. Uh, obviously, it's the first running of it, so uh, hopefully will manage to be on the positive side of history. But we've got some one-day internationals coming up in the next few episodes, starting with the first one-day international against Australia in the next episode. But if you've enjoyed this one, then make sure you hit that like button down below. If we can hit 50, that would be absolutely amazing, and I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support so far. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.